big iguana going in there. Oh yeah. Go in there, buddy. Oh, he's in there. We got two of them in there, guys. All right, we got a big one in there. Yeah, guys, you can see that. That is a dominant specimen right there. Just to see it, these animals in the flesh, guys. You see, I mean, you see stuff on it on YouTube all the time and in the news, but when you, something like this, it really, I think, I think low-key we should pull the string because he's already in there. Like I said, all the other iguanas were green. This guy was the biggest out of the bunch and he was orange. So you know, as of all the other ones scattered, if I'm gonna get one, I'm gonna try to make it count. I'm gonna get the biggest one possible. Air guns, thank you so much for sending us this. We've got the FX Pantera compact. That's massive. Look at the size of that tail right there. Oh, look at the thick water. Nice work, Roddy. We're getting the tire. Hey, what's up guys? It's your friend Roger D. Going on, man. I'm back at you guys with another video. So you guys know lately I've been trying to test out a couple traps and see how we can do on, you know, catching iguanas efficiently. You know, we're seeing areas where there's a lot of them, herds of them. So we figure, hey, let's go ahead. Let's try to test out some traps. See if we can catch a bunch of iguanas at once instead of shooting or snaring one at a time. And we get them, but majority of them get away. So we always trying to advance stuff. Um, research and development, try out the traps, but also bring you guys the test and some entertainment. So with that being said, we do have this trap right here. It's basically like a perimeter for dogs, cats, maybe small children. You can put them in there. It's like a playpen, but it opens up. And I'm thinking, if you guys seen on the other videos, if we throw some fresh fruit in there, we might be able to lure some iguanas in there, possibly trap them. But we do have some modifications to make real quick. Very simple, very cool. But let's get right into it and we'll set this trap up. See if we can catch some more iguanas. This is gonna be the area we're gonna set it up. There goes the trap. We do have some ropes that we're gonna add to the trap. And this way we can kind of be sitting back here and we can wait for the iguanas to come. Then we can get them. We also have this GoPro action camera we're going to put inside that trap so maybe we can get some good POV of these dinosaurs munching out. First things first, let's go ahead. It's about 100 degrees out here. First things first, let's go ahead and get our trap out and get it set up. Yeah, guys, I actually found this on the side of the road. Somebody was throwing it away and they said I can have it. So I was super happy. Now I don't want all this ruckus to scare iguanas. So what I'm gonna do, see if I have any bait. Yeah, I have some bait right here. Maybe I can throw this mango right here and kind of attract some of these dragons. Oh my God, look at this thing. Oh, there's another one. Oh my. Look at that alpha coming out the trees, guys. All right, we need to get this trap set up. He was in there the whole time looking at us. Look at this fire dragon. Look at that. Hold on, let's get this camera on him. Yeah, guys, you can see that. That is a dominant specimen right there. Yeah, guys, you can see that. That is a dominant specimen right there. Incredible. Let's keep... Okay, we have several of them. All right, phase two of this trap right here. We got to put this rope. All right, guys, let's see. We're going to put the trap face in there. So we need this side to be tied actually. Put it through here. Just like that. So we can kind of align it a lot better. 
There's a lot of them right there, guys. We're gonna throw Oni B. So now when we try closing it, boom, we got it locked like that. You see that? That's perfect right there. And once we pull that tight, the, the trap will be shut. So we'll put this string right here. This is just a fun little DIY, guys. All right. We wanna face the mouth of the trap this way and kind of have it open like that. That's incredible. Just to see it, these animals in the flesh, guys. You see, I mean, you see stuff on it on YouTube all the time and in the news, but when you actually come out and you see, you know, a, a, something like this, it really, it, you know what I'm saying? It really got you thinking. Oh man. Let's see if we can outsmart him. All right, a bunch of them is running by. Big iguana going in there. Oh yeah. Go in there, buddy. Oh, he's in there. We got two of them in there, guys. All right. Let's see if any more come. I'm surprised that the big one off jump is already in there. The other alpha's in there, he's kind of munching. But that's a big iguana right there, guys. That might be a 13 pounder, honestly. You see him in there, he's just gobbling that mango up right now. I think, I think low key we should pull the string because he's already in there. But let's just be patient. I don't know if I should actually throw. Body starting to come out. All right, we're gonna have to pull this on him slowly. Is he was coming out. Oh, he's out. He's out. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it. We need to throw some at the back of the trap. All right, now we gotta sit back. Okay, we've got a lot of extracurricular activity. Let's step back. I have a feeling the more we step back, better shot we're gonna have at this thing being a success big iguana going in there oh yeah go in there buddy oh he's in there we got two of them in there guys all right we got a big one in there oh my gosh he came out this is wild let me see if I can throw some more mangoes in there If I should throw some more mangoes to get them flared up. I only have a couple of them. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, yeah, we got some debris right here. I came right out of it. Now we're fighting to get up the tree. Oh shoot. Just as they're basking, first thing in the morning, or after a long hot day in the evening, they get a chance to cool down. 
That's a pretty big one right there. I'm gonna see if I can flip that guy at least. Pulling out of this structure. There it is. Yep, just flip him right out. There he is, he's pinned. Look at that. Oh my God. Oh my God. Got us a T-Rex. Oh, he's trying to spin it off. All right, that guy's not gonna put up too big of a fight after we just dethroned him. There it is right there. Another fat one. These are all good sizes, guys. Great sizes. There's plenty more of them out here. They're just hiding or they have escaped already. We gotta be grateful and happy for what we can get. Praise the Lord. All right, another one in the bag. As you guys might have known, iguana hunting is becoming very popular. This guy's still got a lot of fight in him. You can see dark colors right here. Oh, he's missing a leg. Look at this. Let's put him here for a second. He's missing all four digits on one foot just by but one. Missing. He's missing four digits besides one on one foot back here. Everywhere else is good. Oh, he's missing a digit right there as well. Goes to show how these guys are fighting out here. And they get in various altercations throughout the day with different species. Sometimes it's the same species, sometimes it's other ones. They get in a lot of different altercations. This one right here looks like it's a pet. You know, just a little green thing, not too big, not too aggressive looking, or, you know. Okay, just let's, let's just go right on top. Let's go, he's just gonna go right on top. Oh, whoa. All right, he's gone. You guys can see that there's a healthy amount of these creatures out here. Healthy, healthy amount. And they're, you know, they just, they're coexisting with the, you know, some of the ducks, some of the birds. It's insane. Let's see. Yep. Oh shoot, there he goes. Just let him roll it out. Yeah, you can really see the colors of them right there. Bright orange. It's got a little bit of pink going on under the dewlap. Like I said, all the other iguanas were green. This guy was the biggest out of the bunch and he was orange. So you know, as of all the other ones scattered. If I'm gonna get one, I'm gonna try to make it count. I'm gonna get the biggest one possible. The most dominant one. Dethrone him. Put him in the bag, look at this guy. He's so dry. His spikes are dry and rough. He's just out here just doing what iguanas do. Fighting, breeding for the territory, you know, eating a lot of the plants. 
So very, very happy we were able to get him. And as you guys seen from the video, he didn't even run. It's like he was like standing his ground, marking his territory. He wasn't even backing off an inch. All right, he was gonna let me know like, hey man, this is my side. You cannot come over here. Little did he know who I was, and we were able to put him in the bag. All right guys, I think we're done for now. It's so hot, only a couple of iguanas out. You can even see that guy in there. He's got his mouth open, he's panting, thermal regulating in the shade. It is dangerously hot right now, 93 degrees. Fahrenheit might not seem like a lot to you, but to me, it's a lot because I'm out here almost every single day. I'm always out following leads. If you guys enjoy this type of content, very simple. If you want to keep following, all you got to do is smash the subscribe button. And once you do that, I mean, shoot, you get to come along. You get to check out videos and what kind of jobs that I'm doing and bring you guys along right with me. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick little vlog. You know, I decided to pick up the camera and try to film for you guys, making it, you know, almost double as hard, you know, since I'm solo. But I still think it was worth uh, it. It was challenging. It was a lot of fun. Now it's time to go to the Smoothie King, go get us a nice strawberry banana smoothie, cool off, and let's go inside and enjoy some nice ice cold AC, y'all. So God bless you. Love you. Stay happy. Stay well. And it's your friend, the Iguana Man. Remember, guys, just keep on catching.